Okay, welcome to the second section of our Combinator video manual where we uh, look at the Combinator and all the feature book features available to the user. So in the first um, part, the first section of the videos, we looked at all the tools pre-flop and in this second section we're going to be looking at all the tools post-flop, all the uh, group selection uh, tools available. So to get started, once you've selected that pre-flop range, like we showed in, in the first batch of videos, you click the to pre-flop mode uh, and here you go into what we call post-flop or, or group selection mode. Um, so in this video we're just going to look at uh, assigning the grid into various different hands. So um, once you've gone into group mode you have these buttons down here and this elects, uh, allows you to select a coloured group. And the basic goal that we do here is we're going to break this range of hands up into um, into different groups and then we can compare the different groups and compare the hands in, in different parts of the range of the groups. So selecting hands in the grid is exactly the same as in preflop and this time we select which colour that we want to to use or you know which bin we want to put in certain hands. Uh, other than that everything's exactly the same so if we just click number one you know we can start clicking and cards come up red this means we're just assigning cards into group one. Um, if we go into group two we're now going to assign hands into group two. And as you can see, as I make these changes, uh, the uh, output updates automatically um, to the number of combinations in each group, the number of combinations in all groups, and the number of combinations uh, not in a group. Um, now, as you can see, it's just like before. You click once to select, and you click again, and this removes a hand. Uh, being that I'm in group two, which is uh, the green mode, if I click on a, a red one, it'll first go to green, click it again, and it'll go off. Uh, there's up to eight groups if you've got the uh, pro software. Here, we're just going to assign things in a nice blue color. You can also use a shortcut of Alt 1 to 8, and this is going to automatically jump you to a group. This is really quick for, um, you know, doing lots of assigning. Um, these buttons work as well. You know, if we're in uh, group 5 and we click all, everything's going to go into group 5. Uh, clear will remove everything in that group. I'll just show you that again. Um, if we go sign some stuff into group 1, sign some stuff into group 2. If we click clear here, it's only going to clear the group 2 combinations. Um, clear all will remove all combinations. So that's uh, that's fairly um, uh, fairly easy uh, if you've done the, the preflop stuff. The only other thing is these these modes work as well. So here we can be in line mode for uh, group two, um, you know, diagonal for sorry for group one, diagonal for, for group three, whatever. You get the idea. Um, this uh, the suit selection also works exactly the same as before, and now things are a little bit use more useful. So you know, if we go into group one, we can go into suit selection mode, select all heart combinations, let's say, and uh, and now we're going to do partial selection into group one of these hands. If you go out of suit selection mode, as we hover over, you can see some of them are selected in red. And now we could say, for example, go into suit selection mode and do just club hands, and we're going to put these into group two. And as you see, as I click on these, it's going a grey colour, and this shows that it's a um, it's got mixed uh, groups assigned to combinations. Um, and if you when you hover over it, you can see some of them are in red, some of them uh, are in green down here in the suit selection. Um, so that's pretty much it for um, manually putting uh, hands into different groups. Uh, things get a bit more useful when we put in the board and the cards and use some of these auto selection features, but uh, hopefully that uh, will get you started.